bodies of the birds you must have heard the twittering and chirping of birds the songs of a cuckoo and the calls of a crow these are the sounds of various kinds of birds around us Birds are one of the most beautiful and colorful animals on our planet. They live in almost every habitat of the earth. They possess various features that help them to fly, get their food and build their nest. In this chapter, we will discuss some of these in detail. Body parts of a bird. The birds have a streamlined body having head, wings, tail and legs. They have feathers all over the body. The bird's head has a beak with a hole as nostril. Bones of birds are hollow and light. Birds use their beak and claws to hold and eat their food. Characteristics of a bird. A bird has wings. It uses them to fly. A bird's boat shaped body helps it to move fast through the air. A bird has strong arm and chest muscles. It flaps its wings with these. A bird is very light. It has air in its body and has very little bones. Birds have different shaped feet. They have three toes which point to the front and a shorter toe which points backwards. Birds also use their toes to balance, hold on the things, walk on branches, climb, swim and wait in water. Scientific fact. A bat can fly, but it is not a bird. Birds have different shaped beaks. They do not have teeth. They use their beaks to cut, open, tear and crush their food. Birds build nets to lay eggs and for providing shelter to their young ones. Some nets are made up high in trees, others are made on the ground or in buildings. Tail of a bird help it to change its direction while flying. Feathers Feathers are the most unique feature of a bird. They help the bird to fly, keep the body warm and give it shape. Feathers care of three types. Flight feathers, the long flat feathers attached to the wing and the tall help the birds to fly. These are called flight feathers. They also help birds to lift themselves and balance for flight. Body feathers. Body feathers cover the body wings and the tail of the bird. They are strong but light in weight. They give a smooth shape to the bird's body. Down feathers. Down feathers are located close to the body, underneath body feathers. These are short and soft feathers and help to keep the bird warm. Beaks of birds. Birds like other living things need food. Birds do not have teeth to eat their food. They have beaks and claws to get food and eat it. Birds use their beaks to get food. Birds use their beaks for collecting materials to make their nest. Most birds use their beaks to smooth their feathers. This is called preening. Birds also use their beaks to protect themselves from enemies. Scientific fact Vultures, eagles, hawks and owls are called birds of prey because they eat small birds and animals. Different kinds of beaks Sharp, strong and hooked beaks Some birds have strong, sharp and hooked beaks by which they catch the prey and tear off the flesh. They also eat small birds and animals like snakes, rodents and ducks. Hard, strong and short beaks. Some birds have hard, strong and short beaks because they eat grains. 
These types of beaks enable these birds to pick up and crush the grains they eat. Long, slender and curved beaks. Some birds eat insects hidden in the holes. They have long, slender and curved beaks for pulling out insects from their hiding places. Broad and short beaks. The broad and short beaks of a swallow is sticky from inside. The swallow moves round and round in the air with its beak open. Tiny flying insects get stuck in its beak. Long and pointed beaks. Some birds have long and pointed beaks for pulling out insects from holes in the ground and eat them up. Broad and flat beaks. Ducks and spoonbills have broad and flat beaks. They help in finding food when digging up the muddy bottom of a pond or cistern. A duck's beak has small holes along the edges which act as strainers. Water and mud go out from these strainers leaving small plants and tiny water animals in the bird's mouth. Feet and Claws The size and shape of bird's feet and claws depend on where it lives, what it feeds on and how it eats. Perching birds Sparrows, manas and crows sit on trees and wires by gripping the branch or wire. This is called perching. They use the front toes like we use our fingers. The back toe is used like our thumb. Climbing birds Woodpecker and parakeet have two toes which point towards and two toes which point downwards. These birds climb the branches of trees to cut fruits and wood with their feet. Flesh-eating birds Vultures and eagles have strong and sharp claws. These claws are called talons. They help to catch live prey like toads, rats and small birds. Scratching birds Hens and peacocks have strong legs with three toes in front and one toe at the back. The toes have strong sharp claws that help the bird to scratch the ground for insects etc. Wading birds Birds like heron and crane have long legs with spread out toes. The spread out toes prevent the birds from sinking into the mud in a pond. These help them to walk through water in search of food. This movement is called wading. Swimming birds. Birds like duck and swan are called water birds. They possess webbed feet with three toes at the front that are joined by skin web and one toe at the back. These toes help all water birds to push back water and swim ahead. Scientific fact Ducks and swans can dive for food. They hold their breath while they are underwater. Chapter 7